We expect a good one out of this Diamond Dynasty matchup between the Austin Hayes, the next to bat. He will lead this one off Leading today. Off the afternoon for Baltimore, the center fielder. First pitch hacking oh, here, oh, and that's the first strike. This is popped up. Guriel in foul ground, and no one will get this one. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. The second base in there, no balls in the strike. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a pitch swung on and missed, one and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Popped him up. Guriel is under it. And that ends the inning. Here comes the second baseman, Jose Altuve, to get things kicked off in the home half of inning number one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Altuve. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Chasing after it is Santander. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. That is third. The center fielder. Go! George Springer the next to hit. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hayes on the run for it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. He's set in the pitch. Runners on the move for second. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Correa. Runner at first with two gone. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Michael. Here's Brantley. Michael Brantley. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Santander waits on it, and that retires the side. And here's Renato Nunez. He'll start things out here against Roy Oswald. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. A 2-1 count to Nunez. All even now, 2-2. Two and, two. and the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Anthony Santander comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. Good action on the sinker, 1 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Anthony Santander is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Here's Oswalt now on 0 and 2. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. So here's Josh Reddick. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Hayes, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. Now a ball lined to the left side. 
foul. Here comes the 0-1. Popped him up. Wins has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now with the plate, Martin Maldonado. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. This is flared out towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Ready now, Roy Oswald. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Two strike pitch now to Oswald. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled Digging in now, Hanser Alberto. Seven, eight, nine, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Here's Oswald back to work now as he gets ahead of the leadoff man. No balls in a strike. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0 and 2 now. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Good live fastball by Oswald at 94, and it's nothing and one. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. One and 0 the count. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw is right there for... Ready for another chance? Jose Altuve as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Santander looks up. Gone! Here's Carlos Correa now. This one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Here's George Springer. As he'll swing and left a fly ball to right center. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Fly ball out toward left center field. After to Santander. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. At the plate, Michael Brantley. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. This is line to left. Santander grabs it to retire the side. Standing in, Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Now back the second baseman, Ramon At the plate, Ramon Urias, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Lays off two and two now. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Grounder down the line at third. 
No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Heading out towards shallow right. Reddick will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. First pitch of the at-bat. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and. Stepping up to the plate Josh Reddick he reached on a single in his first try. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The first baseman number 12. So here's Yuli Guriel as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And there's one down now. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. The 0 2 pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's 1 and 2. Definitely a strikeout situation here with the runner on third. So that's smart. Trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. And look out as that one ran in and got him. At the plate, Roy Oswald. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now back to the top of the lineup. Now Stepping back. in, that Jose Altuve. It okay. was a solo shot for him in his last okay. at-bat. Yeah, that last at-bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He set the 0-1. Hit down the third baseline. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that is off the wall. He's in at second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. The batter, number four. Good job. Carlos. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. No balls in one strike. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5-0 game. Hector Velasquez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Into the box now, George Springer. He swings and grounds it to short. Iglesias is up with it. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now at the plate, Anthony Santander. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1 and 2. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Now Tuve has it. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. From the stretch, right the side. The first baseman. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. No runs, just one hit. And no errors for the Orioles so far. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. And yet another... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Alex Bregman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line drive to left. Santander's got it, and there's one away. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Now batter. The right field. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. The bouncer to the left side. To Iglesias for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Now batter, the pitcher, Martin. Stepping in now, Martin Maldonado. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Hayes on the run for it. At the track. On the warning track. Your Dwight Smith Jr. will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Strike one to start the at bat. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Brantley going back. Gone to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Austin Hayes. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Called strike 0 and 2. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Up next for the Orioles. The Swung on and missed for the first strike. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Stepping up now, Trey Mancini. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got another one. Third. Miguel Castro enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Striding in, Roy Oswald. He laid down a sacrifice bunt in his last trip. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So far, two for three in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Now at the plate, Carlos Correa trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone and that's strike one. 
yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. And now pitch on the way. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Hot shot down the line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. First offering on its way. Hit softly down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Has a look. Now the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And the catch is. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. 0-1 the count. Hit down the line at first. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Number 25. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Springer to the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. That's in there. Base hit. Santander rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a 5-2 ball game. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. Hunter Alberto. Oswalt's line, two earned runs through six and a third thus far. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. One there, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Now batter. Good live fastball by Oswalt at 94, and it's nothing in one. Behind 0 and 2 now. A runner on first with two away. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball. Richard Blyer will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Rio Ruiz is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Scooped up. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now to the plate, Michael Brantley. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted in the air to center field. Hayes on the run for it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Josh Reddick. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Line towards center field. And he will get there to make the running play. Into the box, Rio Ruiz. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Hit in the air down the right field line. Reddick on the run, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Into the box, Austin Hayes. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. And two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Austin Hayes goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Lifted down the line in left. After it is Brantley. 
And they can't run it down. Just hung in there on that one. The 0 2 once more. Locks him up for strike three. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He went down on strikes last time up. No balls and one strike. This one's down to third. Bregman gloves it. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping into the box, Yuli Guriel. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting, Hector Martin. At the plate now, Martin Maldonado. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. The 0 1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. A line drive base hit to left field. And this one bounds around against the wall. The throw into second. One pitcher, number 24. Four. So now to the plate, Roy Oswald. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. This one's flared toward left center. Charging in is Santander, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Field. Craig Biggio will come on now and pinch okay. run here. Up to the plate next to be Jose Altuve. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Paul Fry comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. To the plate now, Carlos Correa. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Just better fielder. Into the box now, George Springer. This one also hit deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder. Out of here. And how about that? Back to back to back home runs. Well, this is amazing right here. Three home runs in a row. I've actually been a part of a similar situation sandwiched in between Raphael Fercal and Gary Sheffield back in the early 2000s. What a moment. All the boys are going nuts. For three guys to do it, it's pretty special. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. Sean Armstrong and there's now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Striding into the box, Michael Brantley. He flew out in his last at-bat. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts... Swing, high drive, deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing, and this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. The back, the right field. 
stepping in now, Josh Reddick, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that's the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yuli Gurriel, runner in scoring position with Suga. Here's the first pitch to him. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Now back. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Strike taken. Good bender on the outside there. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Standing in now, Jose Iglesias. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Behind 0 2 now. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. DJ Stewart will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And here's a fastball to begin the at bat as Oswald gets ahead with strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Breaking ball called just a bit low. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. I know that fastball registered at about 92-93, but I guarantee. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 11-3, the final score in this contest. The Expos posted 11 runs.